Hello, my name is Findimus, and in this video we're going to be learning about how to nest an anchor element within a paragraph. If you want to follow along, the link is in the description down below. Let's begin. You can nest links within other text elements. Here's a um, blank link to freecodecamp.org for you to follow. Let's break down the example. Normal text is wrapped in the P paragraph element. Then there's an example of it. Next is the anchor element, the A tag which requires a closing tag. So you see the open and the closed there. Target is an anchor attribute that specifies where to open the link and the value blank specifies to open the link in a new tab. href is an anchor tag attribute, sorry, anchor tag attribute that contains the URL address of the link freecodecamp.org. The text link to freecodecamp.org within the anchor element called anchor text will display a link to click. The final output of the example will look like this. Here's a link to freecodecamp.org for you to follow and this is clickable. I will click it. There you go. Nest the existing anchor element with a new paragraph element. The new paragraph should have text that says view more cat photos, where cat photos is a link and the rest is plain text. So that, that all went way over my head, but we're going to work through this. <laughs> Okay, it's early in the day. So, hmm. nest the existing A within a new P element. Okay, so we're going to create a new P element up here. And that should be simple enough where you put the P in the brackets and then you go down and you close the P with the forward slash inside of brackets. And then let's see, what's the objective? Your A element should, uh, should have the anchor text of cat photos, which kind of already does. You should create a new P element around your A element. There should be at least three total P tags in your HTML code, which I do see three. Your A element should be nested within your new P element, which it is right here. Okay. Your P element should have the text view more with a space after it. Okay, so we need to create text. Let's see here. View more space. How do you put it? Did you put an underscore to create a space? No, you don't. Let's go up to the example because I feel a little bit lost. Here's a, oh, okay. I think they want this down on the next line. 
And then I think they want you to bring this line up like that. Just going based off of what this example looks like over here. Okay. Your A element should not have the text view more. Roger that. Yeah, we don't have that there. It's in the P element. Each of your P elements should have a closing tag. Remember to do the slash forward slash to close every P element. I love this kitty ipsum text. It's just so funny. Uh, if you read it, it's actually pretty hilarious. All right. Um, each of your A elements should have a closing tag. Um, we have an A here, and that's that's all I see. So we got the closing tag for it. Looks good. Looks good to me. View more cat photos. Yeah. I'm gonna run the test. I believe we're done with this one. And uh, there you go. All the objectives were completed. Good job, everybody, on this challenge. And I'm going to take us to the outro. Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Findemus, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everyone.